Um, where I think these Tuesdays and Friday streams, we're really going to just take it with an ebb and flow. Because it really depends on what time traffic gets me here. No, don't hiss at Simbel. Simbel's allowed to moo. Simbel is allowed to be the mooing rat of the pack. <laughs> Hi, Simbel. Welcome in, friend. How are you? How is everybody doing on this wonderful Tuesday evening? Uh, of course, we did not stream t last night because I was on evening shift at work. Um, but hopefully y'all are doing well. Um, I have tea and I'm not afraid to use it. Why are we using the tea? It's not a threat. It's a promise. Why are we promising to use the tea? That is my question, Yolfador. Combat, thank you for the first. And Jesse, thank you for the second. Welcome on in, friends. Our quest to find Brian. Let's go. I don't think it's going to be that difficult. But, like, yes, we can make it a quest. Um, yes, Jesse, thank you for the hype. Uh, yeah, sometimes, like... It'll say there was a Pokemon, but, like, there really wasn't. It's just, like, I think, like, the system waking up. Like, oh, yeah, you're live now. Cool. Let's do things. Um, because it usually takes, like, a minute. <laughs> Thank you for the click. Yeah, it would have worked if I actually, like, switched it over on time. But it's okay. Uh, thank you all for putting that in the chat. Uh, hi, Colk. How, how are you, friend? Uh, mooing rat? I am a moose. A mooing mouse. <sighs> Listen. I kind of forgore. Yes, you are a mouse. I, I forgore. My brain broke. I had some interesting students today. So they kind of broke my brain a little bit. So we're just gonna... Yeah. I meant to say... I meant to say mouse. And then my brain kind of broke a little bit. I was picturing a mouse. I was picturing a mouse. It was a ghost type, yes. I wish I could use the tea stick. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, dang. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Susie. You can use it in the Discord server. Um, oh, I wish I could. <laughs> because the tea must flow. I'm good. How is everybody? Yes, how is everybody? Oh! Spiral. I love that LGBT emote. That's so good. That is so good. Yes, so tonight we are playing Broken Pieces. I'm very, very excited for it. A rat that has also a cat. I find that a very amusing. <laughs> Mary Leaf, you're not, you're not wa welcome here anymore. <laughs> That's okay, Mary, I love you. How are you? I meant to say mouse. Hi, guys, I'm playing Genshin and finding places I don't think I should have yet. LMAO. <laughs> hey, Nevi, how are you, friend? Welcome. We have a lot of people here tonight. This makes me happy. Did y'all miss me or something? <laughs> Looks clever first time I saw it back in 2020. <laughs> yeah, look, it's, it's, it is clever. It is very clever indeed. Um, Dear Lovely, how are you, friend? How are you enjoying um, Through the Woods? I put it on my list of games to look at. Let me give you a shout out. Playing the new Brian game? Yes, I am playing the new Brian game. Very excited. Very, very excited. Uh, if you don't know who Dear Lovely is, Dear Lovely is also a, very, a, a, a lovely streamer. Hey. Very clever, am I? Uh, they've been playing um, some Detroit mixed in with some other games to, like Through the Woods. So go give them a check. Go give them, go look at the, the, the things that they're doing. Yeah. Um, not gonna lie, a little tired. Brian here for Brian and you too, of course. Great. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Susie. Glad, glad your priorities are straight, even though we're not straight. Oh, we do love Detroit. We do love Detroit. We do love Detroit. We do love to twa. Um, but today, uh, I had some, I had only one student today. That was it. My, the first student this morning was the only student we had this morning. And then we had three in total in the afternoon. It was interesting. It was very interesting. And give them a check. Uh, how much? Um, one whole dollar. One entire dollar, Yulfador. Um, Yes. I spent all of my afternoon watching Brian show off his entire Pokemon collection. Uh, straight priorities, my priorities. Thank you very much. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> of course, thank you again for what's a Deckard game? What is a Deckard? No, it's Deckard Gains, isn't it? One entire dollar coming up. Oh God, don't break my system, Connor deviated my work systems today okay he really showed up 
and said, oh, you need access to these specific systems in order to, like, you know, do your job? Yoink! No. Not allowed. No. That is that is not cool. Not, not allowed to do your job. Uh, and I'm like, cool. <laughs> Where's a D? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I inhaled air. <laughs> Through the Woods was kind of creepy, but it was decent for an indie game. Beautifully done, in my opinion. Creepy things in-game, but the Norse folklore stuff was really intriguing. Ooh! Yes, I will definitely look into that. Maybe that'll be a random game night one night, um, once I get through this paycheck. Um, why is it Deckard Games? Why are you? How is it Deckard Games? <laughs> What's a Deckard Games? I personally enjoy inhaling air. air. Yeah, I enjoy breathing, too. Connor has deviated my phone, I swear. Connor has deviated a lot of things, and we love that emote by Doctor Who. All right, I think, I think I feel the hype in chat. So I'm now going to open the game for the first time, and let's see what our audio is like. Hello, audio. Have you ever been into a hyperbolic, I don't think hyperbaric chamber. Oh, is that where it's like desolate of sound? Oh, game. I hear you. I do not see why. I swear to God, if my internet just dies, we're gonna have issues. Okay. Game should be loading. There it is. Unreal Engine. This icon is displayed on your screen. Your progress is being saved. Do not leave the game with this icon is displayed. Better experience with the controller. Well. I don't use controllers, so that sounds like a you problem. Alright, I am already in love with how this looks. Pure O2, it's cool. No, just breathe O2. <laughs> uh, you do not perceive game. I'm not allowed to perceive anything at the moment. Um, Alright, cool. Press escape to start the game. Ugh, seagulls! <laughs> Susie, what's your issue with seagulls? Ma'am, I need the beef. I need the tea on that. The tea that Yolfador is providing us. All right, so this is already beautiful. Um, actually, before we get started, let me read the Steam store description, which it now says I have no connection to the Steam store. That's pretty cool. That's dope. That makes no sense. Uh, store page. Broken Peace is a psychological thriller taking place in a French coastal village somehow outside the flow of time. Solve the mysteries by putting the pieces together, putting the pieces of the story back together by figuring out the enigma behind the mystical place. Interesting. Uh. Yay, broken pieces. Yes! Did you ever play the demo? I did not play the demo. The only reason I know this game existed was because Brian Deckard is in it and he talked about it and showed us the trailer. And I saw that you can manipulate weather and I was like, oh yes, baby, sign me up. So here we are. <laughs> It's the only two reasons I'm playing it. And also, cause like, it's like puzzles and shit and I'm like, okay, cool, we're gonna suffer and it's gonna be fine. Well, when they're not attacking your food, that's fair. I'm corner seagulls are fucking everywhere. I have not seen any seagulls down here in, uh, what state do I live in, Susie? Uh, plus waking up, waking up at 4 a.m., that's fair. Uh, I was in that stream too. Hey! It's like yes to all. We're literally only here for Brian Decker. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for the weather mechanic as well, because I love the weather mechanic. Uh, California. I live in the same state as the Deckards. Since when did that happen? Weather mechanic? Fuck. Susie, if I live in the same state as the Deckards, I think I might cry. Of pure happiness. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, let's check out these options to make sure they're not gonna kill my PC. My PC doesn't sound like it's dying, so that's good. Uh, okay, we'll keep we'll keep it on high for now. Motion blur off. Lens flares on. Audio English vibrations. I mean, I don't. Uh, uh, man, subtitle language, English, subtitles enable on, text size, background light. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Um, for sure, the puzzles, weather, all of it. You're not allowed to cry in California if there's a drought constantly. <laughs> okay, that is very fair. All right, let's get started. 
Okay. Reduce this one to combat difficulties. So mode will focus experience in exploration, narration, and puzzles. Um, or you will enjoy the complete game experience conceived by the developers. Oh, no. Oh, no. We all know I suck at combat. Have we not seen my playthroughs of Vampire and Cyberpunk? Gray's PC when playing this game. Calm. Gray's PC when playing Astroneer. I'm winding up to the movie. <laughs> You're not wrong, Mary. Oh my god. You're not wrong. Like, it, it, is, it is fine when I play Cyberpunk, but when I play Astroneer, it's like... And I'm like, ma'am, excuse me. Like, you're only 50 degrees C. What is the issue? Like, you're not even, like... Like, why is the fan... Your PC really to go burr when you're play when playing Ash? It really does! I don't understand why! Alright, so... My gut instinct is telling me... Put some frozen bread on it. Guess that one isn't as optimized. It might not be. It just, like... It doesn't, like, freak out. It just, like, kicks the fan higher... To, I guess keep it cooler, but I don't know why it's not as optimized. Like, I don't know. You would think you would kick higher for, like, cyberpunk, right? But it doesn't. And no, I don't have frozen bread, Susie, unless you want to send some to me. All right. So. Egg. Egg? Where's egg? Eggy. Where's egg on it? Hmm. Because it's an execute. That's why. Execute. Yeah. I can I can say Pokemon names. Alright. So. Forgive me for about to sin. I'm about to listen to this in the background while playing House Flipper. May Brian forgive me. Brian will not forgive you, unfortunately. Um. Okay. <clears throat> so, should I play original or combat reduced? Because we all know how I get with combat. <laughs> A cute egg that so happens to be an X. No! No! Eggy is not our ex. We love Eggy. You get a free Eggy because of Execute. Um, I love you, Eggy. I really want to play the game originally designed, but I feel like it's gonna be, like... I, I fear horror- I fear it's gonna be bad. I saw a tweet there, Connor overheats and Hank buys him a cooling fan for laptops to sit on. An ex egg that happens to be cute. Funk. Eggy. Alright, I'm gonna pick original. So I'm benched to save your progress and give Elise time to breathe. Elise is the name of my sister. Fun fact. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Alright, is the game loading? This is a very pretty scene. But I Hey! Susie got execute! I still need to put my Pokemon cards into the binder. And I still- and I would like to Brian has convinced me to buy the binder that he has. Pierre, I, I can't. I can't take the suit. You. I, I, that cut. I don't, I don't feel right. Stay with me. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. I five. I have a Froakie and Sudowoodo so far. Ooh, nice! Okay, I'm going to lurk now, try to get the art stuff done. I don't want spoilers. Enjoy! Thanks! Thanks to Lovely! Thank you for the lurk, friend! Have fun! I cannot check what I have on mobile, but I know I have three Pokemon so far. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, movement with Wazd. Why are we running? Why are we running? The salt columns? Interact with the world with mouse button. I see it now. We were all so entertained. We didn't see what was getting ready in the shadow. Interact with this? No. Interact with this? Yes. Leave them alone. Interesting. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> this is a strange way to start a game, not gonna lie. An alarm clock. Is this a dream? Dream sequence? This game
game audio good? Can you hear uh, the game, the speakers in the game? The dialogue, I should say. Ooh, this is from the trailer! <gasps> Bear! Is it new new? This nightmare again. How? Okay, how can people sleep with jeans? I don't understand. How do people sleep in jeans? How do you lounge comfortably in jeans? That is my question. Because I can't do that. My leggies don't allow for it. Well then, this is a pretty eclectic room. We just do. Can you not run in your own apartment? Okay, so change perspective. Oh, I have to press down. Okay, I have to be very drunk or very, very, very tired to do so. Chaotic evil, she sleeps in jeans as her pajamas. It just happens when you're tired enough. Okay. Okay, so the door is there. Ah! So you can see through her eyes. Okay. Damn. When dust settles on your sport trophies, it doesn't mean you are getting younger. That bear, I know. We can't interact with it though. What else can we interact with? Why are you running in your own home, ma'am? Not gonna lie, I want to jump on that bear plush and cuddle it. I know, I do too. I listening to Pierre. He always used crazy yeah. effects on his guitar. Radio bed? <laughs> Instead of radio head, it's radio bed. Excuse me. That's funny. That's very funny. To be fair, I sleep in jeans in winter because here it gets like between negative 10 and negative 20 Fahrenheit some nights. That's fair. As if they keep you warm, then go for it. Hi there, did you just start in about five hours in or so? Yes. Hi Magnolia, we just started. So we just got through our dream sequence intro. Pierre's tape collection. Insomnia will be a nice excuse to put it in order. Might even find some of the music he made for me. I could use the comforting. That's strange. I've only ever seen games that don't let you run. Not only let you run. Oh my god. So, like, you hold shift to make her walk normally. I hate that. Just to make sure I don't spoil anything for myself. That's fair. Yes, we just started. So, you are all good. I don't think there's anything else in here. Can you not run all the time, ma'am? Where are you going, Elise? I can't leave without my tape player. Oh, sorry! I also forgot to say hi to you, Cole and Josie, Eleanor, and everyone else in chat. Thank you for being the welcome crew! Oh, that's how you search things, is a long press! My life turned into an item. Round and Speed round run to the end of the game. <laughs> stuck at the same track. Think when I did the demo, I used controller. Yeah, I don't own a controller. Wait, what does this say? Straight to the past instead of back to the future. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's so funny. Because I love back to the future. It's so dusty here. I could use a vacuum to clean Mary, it. I see you playing house flipper. See, that just popped up on my screen. Ooh, tape player. You come with me, my friend. It would get lonely without you. Open tape player menu. All right. Piano number one. Breathe. Is this is this copyright music? Uh, welcome crew. Welcoming the crew. The crew is welcome. Yes. You see nothing. I perceive, Mary. Oh, journals. Wait, I want to read journals. One, two. One, two. Okay, lore. That work? Okay. Damn machine. And I'm finally starting to understand what's going on here with the electricity. A priori, everything revolves around the lighthouse. I consulted many old newspapers, and the Village Gazette told me that St. Exa was barely poorly served by electricity and regularly suffered severe power cuts. I knew that it was a very isolated village, which is what makes it so charming, but... I hadn't thought of that. Half of the articles in the Gazette are devoted to the inhabitants who, tired of the cuts, ended up installing small wind turbines for their homes. The other half is about the lighthouse, and that's 
where it reminds me of annihilation or area the x that the mayor of the village had installed underwater turbines connected to the building which are capable of producing electricity thanks to the movement of the sea this has enabled the village to gain autonomy and to overcome the failures of the general electrical network anyway i i think it would be worth going to take a look at the lighthouse because if the turbine system is damaged it could explain why some electrical equipment is out of order while others are still working. I'll tell you what I found. Okay, that's the end of that one. Okay, so Les Fantômes qui me poursuivent. So something about ghosts, I guess. <laughs> ah! I could kind of read French. Fourth day, Madame Seth. I'm not gonna. Make it here. They terrify me. I don't know what to do. They hunt me like an animal. They have taken on a human form, but there is nothing human about them. They come out of nowhere without you expecting it and materialize in a kind of elusive black vapor. I can't do anything against them. I don't know how to fight them. I found a weapon, but I'm, I'm struggling to use it, and I'm I'm always out of bullets. There's even more of them at night. They swarm like cockroaches. I have to shut myself up at home as soon as night falls. And they prevent me from leaving this cursed village, Pierre. As soon as I try to leave St. Exel, they arrive by the thousands and they get me. If they catch me, I wake up in my bed and it's been hours, maybe even a whole day. I'm their prisoner. Interesting. Okay, so from my understanding, first journalist, she's like, oh, I'm going to go to this village and check it out. Second is like, okay, she can't leave now. Like, she's stuck wherever she is. Like, I know it's like in a time loop. You know Amelia's going to have fun saying, oh, Pierre, when they play this. So we're trapped on this island. I think so. Or like on the coast of wherever we are. Okay. Le Canyon Magique. The ma my magic stone. I would like to tell you about the bracelet you gave me right after we arrived here. You found that gem on the beach and crafted it into this beautiful piece of jewelry. You told me that you felt that this pebble had something special. That it radiated well you were right you know he protects me from the monsters i told you about if i smack it against the ground it produces a shock wave that violently repels ghosts oh so this is explaining the, the mechanics but not really dissolve them when they attack me or explaining how the mechanics the work in this I world i decided to name him rocky since it's rocky a i love that <clears throat> compare well with eggy but Rocky is also a sensitive guy, you know? He doesn't like explosive noises. If I shoot a gun in his ear, he can even start a thunderstorm. Oh, bet weather. At that moment, I, I feel transported to another reality, to another time. Once calm returns, I have the impression that it only lasted a few seconds, whereas about 15 minutes had actually passed. Better to use it sparingly. Sometimes I feel like he's almost alive. He gets lazy at the end of the day. Especially if I made him work a lot. But, hey, nothing a good night's sleep can't fix. Anyway, all that to say that he reminds me a bit of you. It's probably silly, but I... I feel like you're watching over me through him. And that helps me hold on. Hold on. <laughs> By the way, there are literally people in the Steam discussions upset that things like signs were in French, even though it literally takes place in a small seaside French town. The main character tells you everything you need to know anyway. Yeah, like, that makes that makes sense. Not for people to be upset about it, but, like, it makes sense for, like... I think it's more immersive when you have, like, things that, like, oh, like, it's in French because we're in France. Like, duh, she's probably natively french speaking but they had english voice actors for it so it's more accessible 
But like, yeah, that, that literally makes sense. It makes sense. The Wii Coast. There's that's actually kind of petty to be upset about. The game was produced by a French dev team. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it was only a couple people, but they acted like puzzles were impossible because of it. The f fact things are in French can make things difficult if you don't pay attention. But things, but it makes sense. Everything is in French. Yeah. All right, the tunnel. So it's this is the recurring dream. Guess they never traveled internationally. Yeah. <sighs> can't take this dream anymore. I wake up in this dusty tunnel-shaped cave. It is essentially made up of some kind of light-absorbing rock, like the ones the insides of a planet would create. So this is the dream we I just had. I go through this hallway and come across the ghosts that haunt me, but this time they don't try to catch me. There are also military and scientific equipment. I can't tell if they are studying or planning to attack something. A sheet of heavy smoke waits for me at the end, and it's too thick to see behind, and I'm attracted like a moth is to light. The closer I get to the exit, the more I hear ringing, until I realize it's my alarm, and I wake up like nothing happened, and at the same exact hour as usual, 8 a.m. Oh, 8 a.m. Curse 8 a.m. journal. <laughs> Gone nuts, apparently. Do what you want with that information, or shove it somewhere warm. Shove your instructions somewhere, somewhere. No. Where, Lieutenant? <laughs> okay, uh... No, wait! No, wait! Go back to my tapes! How do I go back to my tapes? I wanna go... What's the button for the tapes? I want the tapes back! I didn't get to listen to them! Ah! Ah! Ah, tapes. Tape recorder. Tape menu. T! T. Okay. Select. Salomon le premier! Ah, uh, his first song, I think. Give tape. Uh, also takes a quick five second Google search to see what the word friends word in French means. Yeah. Thankfully, I took, like, a few classes in French, so I should be okay. Um, or worse, they have, and they kept being pissed at everything and everyone for just being and speaking another language. Also, it's fun to try to guess a new word, too, if you know Latin or Spanish or from context clues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me reading uh, Clockwork Orange, honestly. Exactly. It def definitely makes it immersive, as if you're transplant trapped without full knowledge of the language. Yeah. Get that music. Give tape. You know where you can stick your instructions? No. Where? <laughs> Thank you for the line. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if this is copyrighted music! Oh, I can't exit from this while the music is playing. Oh no! I can! If this is Brian Deckard singing, I'll I might cry. Oh my god, is this Brian Deckard singing? Or am I just making things up? Oh shit, we got scraps! Cool. I don't think so. You can exit the tape menu if it's playing. It'll pause the tape if it has to. Oh, doesn't sound like him. That's fair. I just got very excited. Because we don't know who he is yet. Some rituals. Dear Toothpaste. Because we don't know if his name is Pierre yet either. I thought they were false teeth. Did you brush your teeth, ma'am? Did you brush your teeth? Oh, yeah. I could use a good shower. When this feeling of being observed will stop. So you're not gonna- so you're not gonna shower because you're being watched. Okay, cool. That's fine. Oh wait, the toilet is in the separate area! That's so interesting. Great, I want to hear Brian sing. Great, clings to any hope that the person who is singing is Brian. <laughs> yeah, go back. Oh wait, I missed a door, didn't I? 
Yeah, because there's a door here. Pierre's special mess room. I can't believe one can own so many trinkets. I remember he got stuck once when the electricity shut down. What is happening in this game? We don't know. We're just listening to a song right now and I'm praying it's not copyrighted. <laughs> you missed a room. Great, now hopes and dreams crush because it's not Brian. Well, we don't know if it's Pierre because we're- this is Pierre- the character of Pierre singing. We don't know if it's Pierre. I don't think Pierre and Brian's character are the same people. Uh, no toothpaste. You're breathtaking! <laughs> But hi, Jupe. Welcome in, friend. Can we get a shout out for Jupe, please? Somebody, a mod, bestie. It was surreal to hear him sing the snowman song. Yes, it was so good. I, I never, I don't know what that is, but still. Uh, it really, like, I don't, I've never seen the snowman, but still. It was nice to hear him sing. He has a really good singing voice. Yes, Jupe playing Dead by Daylight. Ooh, a thing. I forgot I found this old journal around town yesterday. Like my childhood was just flung at me. The secondary generator in the old lighthouse. Ever so had a droop. The extra current could help me out in my search for the other inhabitants. Let's check it out today. Okay, I, I don't know if that's the door to leave. Or there's other things we can look at first. I can't believe we moved with all these books. The worst part is, we most likely have doubles. I watched that movie growing up, and I really heard anyone else mention it, so I was like, Sir? <laughs> it's apparently a British classic with a sad ending. Ah, okay. Ah, so that is the main door. Oh, wait. Both doors are highlighted. What? Confusion. What door is the right door? What is here? Sorry about that. No, you're good. I can confirm the snowman and the snow dog is also a tearjerker. All right, what are you? Ooh, hello. Hello? Oh, that was the tape stopping. I was like, who just cocked a shotgun at me? At least I know I can always find the things I leave in here. At night, objects from which HQ ammo can be crafted will be used to produce some. No, wait, give them back. Bring taking my ammo with me because I'm probably going to need it. All right. So we have... Hey, I can't use a mouse. That sucks. Uh, there's a snow dog. That does sound like a shock. It does sound like a shotgun. Brand new. And a superb tool to stay busy. Interesting! Little handheld boy. If I get you back, I'll let you have the remote. I promise. Fireplace. I only knew about it because of the Doctor Who special The Snowman. Also, if there's a snowman film that makes me cry, it's Jack Frost starring Michael After Keaton. After each storm, all you have to do is stoop to collect wood. Free heating. Free heating? Not the one with the suit of killer. I always forget to drink. Drink what? Wine? Water? <sighs> oh, so I'm assuming that's to replenish health. Ooh, a thing. Another undeniable friend. It would be easy to get lost without it. Uh, journal. Open notepad menu. Tab. Okay, objectives. Shed light on the lighthouse. Go to the Saint Exile. Excel Lighthouse, gather my belongings. It's the gamepad direction, that's clues. Clothes, okay. French, so probably wine, yeah. Are you like stuck in this apartment the whole time? No, 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 we're just looking around. We haven't left yet. We haven't gone outside yet. Because I like to take my time and look at things, sometimes. Sometimes I really don't care to look around. Other times I'm like, yes. I forgot it was here. Well, now I can clean the first one. <laughs> I love that's a checklist for your objectives. Yes, so do I. Um, so the second one is a is Sir Years Later, a family movie. I 
Fun movie, I to the same house with a boy from the snowman lived on. The family's a mom, kid, and dog. At one point, the dog dies. Boy builds snowman, snow dog. Shenanigans happen, and the snow dog becomes a new pupper. Oh, interesting. This French snow one is probably the only beverage. <laughs> Gotta look at everything. I try. Sometimes I miss things, and that's fine. If I miss things, don't call me out. Where's this door lead? Hello? Oh, it goes back here. Ah, oh, yes, I understand where I am now. Uh huh. Thank you for the hello. All right, outside we go. I left my gun in the shanty yesterday. Time to get it back. <laughs> New objective. Thanks for turning me to the page to get my pistol. Bruce TV's a guaranteed Christmas Day showing. Where the fuck is the shanty? Are we gonna sing some sea shanties? Okay. Assuming we can't go out that way yet because we need the gun from the shanty, which is probably down here. This gives me very Resident Evil vibes with the camera angles, and I don't know how to feel about that. The former that. owner had to do a lot of tinkering to screw up such a mess. Oh god, where the fuck? Where's Ethan's and Winter's? I was not there for that. Oh, is this the sh shanty? Just went to check on my dinner heating up in the oven, realized I forgot to turn the oven on. Luckily, it's only been a few minutes. Oh, that's unfortunate. Electricity. She realized that's how many Connors there are. And counting! Anyway. Fun, I missed that. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, repeat your line again. I missed it. I can't open without more stable electricity. Nothing interesting in this old garage anyway. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense now. What is here? Why are these petitioned off? I have questions. Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we take a leave and go. Adrian, are you okay, bud? How are you though? All these storms. <clears throat> the previous tenant mm. didn't know what to do with all the wood coming out of fallen trees. Is that a sea shanty? Yeah, is that a sea shanty? I feel like that's a sea shanty without me realizing it. Can I vault over this? No. Very nice. Claps. Okay, so that wasn't where my gun is. Is it over here? Ah, uh, yeah, this looks more appropriate. Gun? Gun. Without you, I wouldn't stand a second out there. Gun! Oh, he's just gun! <laughs> gun! <laughs> oh, it's a very pretty gun. Gun! <laughs> gun at Rogue Proof Top of the Other Year. Gun acquired! <laughs> Apparently I got famous on TikTok and the singer of that cover was in a Doctor Who promo. Ah, got it. Objective updated. Very cool. Anything else I can pillage from here? No? Can I loot this? Powder! Useful to create ammunition. Very fun. Alright, bye. I think it's a gun. Gun! <laughs> Thank you for the neat that description game. I Last can't... time was very close. I need to keep up with my training. Training? Ma'am. A body has been discovered. Yoshida Rookie, thank you for the follow, friend. My thing had like a stroke because it popped up on my screen, but not in the Twitch chat, and I was very confused. I'm like, who the fuck followed? <laughs> think I, I could sing other sea changes if you prefer. No, that's fine. Okay, so are you gonna- do you want to train, ma'am? Hey! Welcome in, friend, from Deckard Games. Yes, we are playing. Oh, I guess you don't want to train. I guess you don't. I love how it's just called powder. Like, yeah, is it powdered milk? 
Is it face powder? Is it gunpowder? Is it sugar? Powdered sugar? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But thank you for the follow. We are now at 540 followers or stab wounds, however you decide to call it. Uh, but thank you for being here. Welcome. We just started. We, we training first. Training? Ma'am, you didn't give me any directives for training. Ma'am, excuse me. Is it soap powder? Add jam. Time to shoot some cans. Let's okay. start with the red one. Or the yellow one. Nah, the blue one. Definitely the blue one. Let's go. And one. Nice. Now, let's warm up for some dodging. Oh god. Okay, this is an interesting tutorial sequence. 20 high, 28 for stab wounds. Yes, always. Okay, I'm ready. Now. <laughs> Better be faster. <laughs> interesting, okay. <laughs> she does like a little twirl. <laughs> now, repel training. Repel tra- what? Ma'am, you cannot change your mind like that, please. No, you cannot. Next time, you will think twice about getting in my safe space. Safe space? Bless. What was that? I'm glad this thing recharges during the night. Why do we need to- Our Training's over. Getting out there seems a little bit less scary now. What? Is anyone else confused? What the fuck was that? What is it for? What is- Avi, we need to have a conversation, bud. We need to have a conversation- Okay. What the fuck just happened? What was that- Coke is confused? Anyone else confused? Dancing and dodging? Yeah, we were dancing and dodging. But what the fuck was that? Hands up. When can we get chicken nuggets? Right fucking now. Let's go. There's a McDonald's literally, like, probably not even two miles down the road. Let's go. Everyone pile into my little Civic. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Fuck this. Let's go. <laughs> no, but I played it. I don't want to spoil. That's fair. Fair. I don't- Yeah, I appreciate not spoilers, but- Because, like, these are the kind of reactions I like getting. Anyone in the- Everyone in the car. Let's go. Chicken nuggies? Chipotle nommies? Brings the coupons. Oh, yes. Bring those coupons. When we hear Brian, we'll get some. Yes. Yes, we will. <laughs> oh, yes. Anki nines. Hell yeah. I want chicken nuggies. Magnolia, what are you making for dinner? Time of day. Look at the watch. Why is it a crab? Why is it a crab? <laughs> I feel like this is... <laughs> Why is it a crab? Why is it a crab? I have questions. <laughs> Brian is crabby. <laughs> questions. Why not crab? I want that one. <laughs> crabby, you want to know why? <laughs> oh my god, I love y'all. I love y'all so fucking much. Alright, we're wasting valuable time right now. Watch Chris me. You wanna know why I'm crabby? I better be home before the night. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? He paid <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Is the question. Wait, tab. Ooh! Get back home before the night. 8 p.m. Okay, go to the Saint Exil Lighthouse. Travel lighthouse will take one hour and ten minutes. Yeah, let's go. But now you know. Rolex crab watch. <laughs> God, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Repel enemies to keep them at a respectable distance. Please 
Ryan exit stage left. Game? Why? Captain's log. Sponge boy me bob. Yar, I'm stuck in the place with none of my monies. I've taken on the character of Elise, and I have a gun. Uh-oh. Combat? Combat evolved? Oh my god, it's Mr. Krabs. Watch Clancy Brown is here. Hank! You again. Oh god. I really need to get better at dodging these attacks. Listen! You just threw me into the- <laughs> Ma'am. I have questions. I have questions. <laughs> I don't like it here anymore. <laughs> Homegirl has some razor sharp 90s eyebrows in that loading screen art. Right. Yeah. Shaky cam shaky camera means business. Just seeing a leftover chicken from the other night. Ah. Well, that was interesting. At the edge of this cliff stands the famous flower house of St. Axel. It's given by its owner to the village, which you still contributes to maintaining the quality of its gardens. Still inhabited, the building is regularly open for heritage events. In interesting. Okay. Everyone to Magnolias, yes. I wish I knew how to care for such beauties. What is here? This door can be unlocked from the other side. Mm. Oh, look, there's package! I want package! She has the chicken. Can I read the sign? Left, the white manor and the lighthouse. Right, St. Exel. Okay. So we want to go shed uh, go to the St. Exel lighthouse. It's the lighthouse. Wait, read that sign left. one more time. The white manor and the lighthouse. The lighthouse is left. We're gonna have chicken strips. Right. Oh my god, Saint everyone Exel. is having chicken strips. I just didn't have chicken strips tonight. That's probably gonna be my lunch on uh Attention. Following the latest storms, the coastal path is damaged. Certain trees marked with an orange cross present a risk of falling on hikers and must be felled. These can fall due to the slightest gust of wind. Interesting. Okay. I heard the white men are at the White House and I thought, yeah, that sounds right, right. I have a burger tonight. Why does everyone have chicken OMG? Oh, I shouldn't be eating. It's way too late here. Yeah, don't eat if it's too late. village really isn't investing in its infrastructure and storms make it even more problematic are we gonna cross it with the this tree was marked to be felled it could make a nice bridge so it's what we did in firewatch i haven't eaten today combat bonk bonk go eat food had chili for dinner Ooh, chili sounds nice also high combat Can't go eat food that with my bare hands yes you can if you try hard enough all right so that means I've been up since nine as well. Go make food combat. I may not have chicken nuggets. I do have chocolate cake. Oh, give. I, hit, I ate a whole pizza last night. That combat. Go eat food. Also, why, Adrian, you need to give us the uh, the chocolate cake. You need a chocolate chalky cake, bestie, friendo, moderino. This door has no handle. LMAO! Funny. Uh, it's 2 a.m. I was gonna sleep, but I saw your promo in the Deckard server. Well, here we are. <laughs> I appreciate you. This game has one crab watch, two Brian investing in infrastructure. What more could you want? All right, so we need to find something to chop down that tree. The White House. I'm getting closer. Ma'am, ma what? I just want to look at some fucking succulents. Come on. Okay, we might have to go this way for now. Oh, bench! In a different scenario, 
I would have stayed Axe, here for found hours it. with a book. Crabs, you say? Hi, Vaughn. Welcome in, nice. friend. Axe. Grab axe. Yes. Behave, treat. <laughs> That's funny. Now, I hope you feel better. Uh, wait, hold on. Felt blood. Gonna make a sandwich now, I think, though. Oh, good. Fine. I'll share some birthday cake. Yes, please. Share. Share with the class. Share with the class. We have acquired one axe. Does that mean we can acquire more than one axe? I have questions. <laughs> Tree BDS. <laughs> oh no. Use axe on tree. It's hurt, but that won't be enough. A storm could help. A storm? Bro. Ma'am, I would be like, oh hell nah. Yo, that's so pog. It doesn't seem to have awakened them. It doesn't seem like that for now. I'm gonna cry if we only get to hear him for like two minutes. Yeah, all the hype for nothing. Can you use two axes at the same time for increased efficiency? I don't know. Still two more minutes than not, but yes, I feel you. Deckart fam wanting more bright. Celicide phosphorus, recognizable by its phosphorescent dress. It made its appearance a short time ago in the region of St. Exel. With its lightning growth capacity, it is able to grow in a single day. Deckart hams. Ripe, they can be enjoyed by some coastal De birds. Deckart humans? Hmm. That's what I thought. Deckart Maybe humans. I should gather some of these. <laughs> Hope the police will not catch me with these shrooms. Grab mushrooms? Mushroom! A mushroom, but shiny? A new Pokemon acquired? Bet bestie. Throwing an open inventory. What are we throwing? What are we throwing? Mmm, done some good hams. Okay, so we can go down. Okay, so. Property privé. This road seems to privé. lead to the White Manor. Okay, so we don't need to go to the White Manor. Let me go to the lighthouse. Because when I retire, <gasps> I want a television the size of a billboard. Yoshida, thank you for the subscription! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Much appreciated. Yeah, too bad I don't have change for these tourist traps. Excuse- wait, wait, hold on. We're not gonna question the thing shooting out of the sky? Wait, we have questions. I have questions. Why is this giving me Life is Strange vibes? Where there's a giant water tornado. Like, what the fuck is in the middle of the ocean? Did I miss something? Well, if they're not actually your friend, you might be throwing hands. Or did I miss something? <laughs> No, she needs straps. <laughs> oh my god. This is funny. Oh, trash can! Loot through the trash can. We got powder! Did we get gunpowder or did we get sugar? Sh powdered sugar? Because lighthouses are mysterious. That wasn't even a fucking lighthouse! Wasn't even a lighthouse. We're not even at the lighthouse yet! Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, more powder. Power? <laughs> Gives me watchdogs vibes. I'm just gonna shout everything. Is it cinnamon powder? <laughs> Miri, is that you? Let's go. Oh god. Wait, I want another view of this. It's that. What is that? Loot! Oh, we got a can used useful to create ammunition. Interesting. Okay. Yes, the true reward: random unidentified powder, gunpowder for the donuts, powdered sugar for the bullets. Yes. Oh whoa. Hey Mary, what's up? Okay. Can we have questions? Why is there a giant dildo in the middle of the water? Why is there a phallic shape? Why are there two of them? Excuse me, I have questions. I have a lot of questions. What is over here? Hold on. Oh, the seagull. Hello. Someone stole the circuit breaker. Ooh, okay. I have one question. UPS unidentified powder supply. 
<laughs> Seems there to be a water fallacy. <laughs> Thanks for y'all for putting up for my shenanigans in my uh, teenage brain. Uh, where is this and are they actually there? Cyberlife's other towers. Oh my god, yes. Oh, a bike! It's like someone just came for this incredible spectacle and forgot his bicycle. Yeah, there's two of them there. But these things were not here before the attack. Mm, so what is the attack? Technically two questions I need to know. Love the chaotic vibes here. I'm usually not chaotic. <laughs> but like... Brian Decker just unlocks my inner chaoticness, alright? <laughs> also, he, he encouraged me to clean on Saturday by him cleaning his PS5. Did you know that there is only one non-automated lighthouse in the United States? Interesting! Also, hi, Vaughn. Not sure if I said hello, but hello. Can I search? Access to the top of the lighthouse is condemned. Well, we can break some rules. Apparently, multiple people were working here. We're mostly Zenlings, but we release our inner Jericho. Yes, I think Jericho did it first. Yeah. Uh, now the chaos here is the mods, not that I'm a part of it. Yeah, Adrian, the pirate with a definite mod symbol right next to their name. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not the mods. Definitely not. Though Mary's the chill mod, though. Mary's the chill mod out of the three of you. Also, why did you have to be so grim? Fun fact, I'm always on the lookout for possibly adding new mods to my team. So if you want to maybe be a mod, interact in chat, be cool in the Discord. Maybe you'll be a mod. Perhaps. Oh, well, Jericho was wild, man. Didn't have access to those chats because of issues, but damn. Yeah. Can someone explain the Pokemon community game? Okay, so what you do, first you do exclamation point poke a start and then you get a um then you'll get a starter pokemon and then you can do poke a catch the more you interact in chat the more coins you get to buy poke uh pokeballs um and then to catch the pokemon you just type exclamation point poke a catch in the chat hey you got a lit in very nice that was my gen 5 starter or gen 6 gen 6 that was my gen 6 starter was it gen 6 gen 6 Got a turt twig. Offers platonic smoochies. We love platonic smoochies. I smooch all of you. This is awesome, OMG. Yeah, we, we do cool things here sometimes. All right, what's our, wait, what's our new objective? La Ponte de Maille. Mal? Mile? Eh. Find electrical component, find the gates cable box. Okay, explore the lighthouse. Because of recent events, a lot of circuit breakers were stolen from the electrical gates. While we wait to receive more, we keep the last one inside the equipment locker. My like mail maelstrom maybe. Different gates. A bit unexpected for a lighthouse. These cables go all the way to the ceiling. Interesting. May plot twist, this isn't gonna be a actually a lighthouse. It looks like a lighthouse, but it's not. Plot twist. Okay, just exploring. Alright, now we gotta go down another level. It's also a clue in between. As as I see it, I'm adding entertainment value from chat. It's not chaos, it's just mag entertainment or something like that. <laughs> it's also a cute in between thing. Love it. <gasps> Ekami! Hey friend, how are you? Welcome in. Can we get a shot for Ekami, please? Uh, underground cemetery or testing bunkers vibes. Ooh yeah, testing bunkers or like perhaps like a science station, like an under underground next to the water underwater science station, perhaps. Ekami was playing Stardew Valley. Ooh, very pog. I have not touched that game in like a couple months. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna need a code. Nothing. Nothing. Damn. How are you, Ekami? Thanks for dropping by. We're playing. This is a complete mess. It's like they pushed everything to the side to make room for something, something else. else. 
So we are currently playing uh, Broken Pieces, which is a third-person adventure, psychological thriller um, puzzle game featuring Brian Decker, and we love him. That's why we're here. <laughs> well, I guess it's simply because I coached you Stardew. That's fair, that's fair. Um, okay, let's... Oh, pipes! So, this is where the electricity of St. Exo is largely generated. The power system. Good, just got back from a spin class. Ooh, very fun! Beat Saber is my working out. Okay. It automatically locked the doors behind me. Uh oh. oh! It's locked up tight. Oh shit! I don't like that! That's not cool! That's not cool, bestie! The valve is missing here. Okay, so we might need to find a valve. Okay, game saved. I don't like that. Yup, testing bunker. Oh wait, there's a thing back here. Can we look at it? This panel seems to monitor the pressure within the turbines. Only the first one appears to be working correctly. Mm. My fingers are not bunky. I love that. Can we just call it a bunky from now on? Local police apparently suspect the cult has started kidnapping people. The cult? Hey, Hold on! Wait a second! So people would disappear without leaving a note. Their last ritual site is located near the lighthouse. At the Pointe des Mal. Might be worth checking out. Cult? Since when was there a cult? Hold on. Wait a second. I have questions. I have more qu I have a lot of questions, y'all. Your fingers have become deviant. <laughs> y'all, I, uh... You have too many questions, not enough answers. I want to go home. <laughs> Plot twist, I at home. Oh god! Oh no! No, no, no! Is that it, or is there more? Hold on, I need to check my key bindings. I need to make sure I'm hitting the right things for, um... Okay, so dodge a space while holding trigger. Fire is right mouse, reload is R. Oh, is it F? I think it's F. Okay. Stay out of the shadows. The cult of the crab watch. Alan Wake, is that you? <laughs> Never played Alan Wake, actually. What does she mean, cult? How do the bullets even hurt shadow monster things? I don't I don't know, cult. Cult, we're, we're not gonna question things. We're not gonna question things. There is phallic-shaped things coming out of the water. Not gonna question shit. We're not, we're just not gonna. Not gonna. That's the thing, definite Alan Wake vibes. I've never played Alan Wake. A note. Someone left a note for his coworkers. Franck is so fed up that Franck. we keep forgetting his birthday. I remember birthday that French class. That he has set the day in the month as the padlock code. Can someone change that back to the inauguration date? Inauguration date. Okay. One padlock code is Franck's birthday. Meaneer kind of has shadow beings and they were able to die by swords too, so everything makes sense. Secretly, it's the Deckard cult conspiring more Brian voice lines. <laughs> Fair. Alan Wake is fantastic one of my top five. Ooh. Yeah, if y'all ever have uh, game recommendations for me, feel free to put them in the Discord in hashtag suggestions. And I will look at them. Can't promise I will play every game you suggest, but I will at least consider them. Powder! What type of powder did we find, y'all? What type of powder? Watchtower schedule and system- Watchtower! Watchdogs? Firewatch? The entire workforce is listed on the board. 
Something is written here, too. Could anyone pick up Frank's shifts for the upcoming weeks? Nicholas system? That's probably where the town's additional current is monitored. How do I sign up? Sweet! You know, the, the cult finds you. Hmm. Ooh, okay. It's a bit much for just a common lighthouse. I can probably restart the system from here. Brad Once pressure and turbines. Exit computer, yes or no? There seems to be a storm happening outside. This gives me, uh... This gives me alien isolation vibes. Praise the deck art cult. Okay, I'm already with it. Basically joined by She Will. Welcome, we bombard studios. I remember if you're excited to see a crab themed watch. So, they had to make space for these machines? They do not seem to belong in a lighthouse. Mmm, tapes? Nobody can find them here. It's completely dark in here. Okay, so it looks like we'll need a light. Praise our deck, our overlords. Yes, indeed. Sixties computers, they do, they really do. Or like tape recording things. 1960s, not Connor, 60. Okay. Best gate. Find a valve, fix the pressure. Fix the gate's cable box. Find an electrical component, investigate. Sick tea. 10 out of 10. Want to go buy first time. Once you get the stronger, just to open more Pokemon packs and promise. Hey, I do have Pokemon cards. Just redeem it and I'll open some packs on the stream. Or a pack. I think I only have like one or two packs left from my current purchase. One padlock code is Frank's birthday. You figure out Frank's birthday in order to get into that. Music, you're scaring me. Oh, fucking bet. Alright, um... Bless you. Bless you, Jesse. Okay, let's get to a save point. Let's get to a save point. Um, which I don't know how long that'll take. Let's get to a save point first. 6.9k points. Nice! So, what is your code, Frank? Okay, so we found this one. So one of them is the inauguration date, one of them is Frank's birthday. Beat me to it. Yeah, it costs 2k points. yet because we're streaming but we had our poke savior yes we did yeah it's near the bottom one for 100k yes there is yes there is 
Yeah, that's why I, I ended up playing Cyberpunk, because Yulfador Redeem destroyed my stream for 100,000 points. And it was like, you're gonna play Cyberpunk now. And I'm like, all right, cool. Okay. So we need to figure out Frank's birthday. Is it like a math puzzle that we have to figure out with this? Because why would we be shown this? Yeah, why would we be shown this? Turning on my fan because I don't want to take off my new deck art game study. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, it's the uh, Deviant one. I know that's true life. I still need to get one. Yeah, I have one. It's in my other room. But it's been warm here, so I don't want to wear it on stream just yet because I'll be too hot. Okay. Magnolia, could you confirm if this is a puzzle that we have to do, if we have to figure out math things? Let me know if you want help. This game doesn't give you any hints on where to go or what to do. It took me a while to figure out how it works. Okay. Your journal helps. Got a postcard of that design a long time ago. You're already hot, honey. Oh, please don't call me hot. I really don't like being called hot. Um, it's just not a, not a favorite adjective for myself. Um, personally, don't like being called hot. <laughs> Half the time I hate how I look because I am not peak gender. All right, clues. One pile of Frank's birthday. They, the cult steal circuit breakers? Amazing, then. Thank you. Gender, ge general rule of thumb, gender neutral or masculine leaning compliments are my favorite. Preferably, I don't like being called on my physical appearance, unless if it's like I'm wearing an article of clothing or if I'm like already hyped about how my hair looks, then yes, then that's fine. We're all hot in this goddamn heat. <laughs> okay, that, Yolfador raises a very good point. Wait, I need to figure out the time. How do I check my watch? How do I check my watch? She watches G. Oh my god, it speaks to us in French. Oh, that's cool. No worries, girl. You're super cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I always hate how I look because I'm not a crustacean or arachnid. Crabos? I think that means it's crab in French. Like, it's it's the- when the crab talks to you. But, Magnolia, I will happily take a hint right now. Oh wait, what's this? Get interact with this one. Oh, we just let the pressure go back outside the lighthouse. You can go in and out of environments and don't get locked out. Okay, you missed a bit of info about the cult, I think, but that's okay. You can still find it from what you need. Mess with the crabbo, you get the stabbo. Stab. Okay, so we'll fuck with the pressures. Not right now, because we want the other valve first, I think. Another cult on game on Twitch. <laughs> I would personally not play cult and lamb. Personally, it's just not my vibe. It seems really cool. I just don't like those style of games and just like damn it's not good oh does she want to play a tape is that what's going on Like a cult about cult games. Interesting. Interesting! Or? Do things here? No? Okay. It just sounded really windy outside. Oh, maybe because you're underwater. 
Once my game saves, then we shall do things. You are facing the lighthouse named Le Cren. The lighthouse was built in 1835. A veritable directional beacon for the sailors of the coast of St. X. One clues out here. The gameplay gives me cuphead near vibes, but that's all I'm gonna say. It is spoilers. only in 1988 that Le Cren was put in service again, welcoming a hydraulic generator that supplies the village. New clue. Alright, cool. <laughs> You say by sitting on benches. Yeah, I tried to sit on a bench earlier and it didn't let me save the fucking game. Happy to see some boats were spared by these mad cultists. Can I this thing? No? Unfortunate. This buoy clearly defines what St. Exel is. A small, isolated fishing village where time Auto seems slowed when you down, sit down or even frozen. A usually calm place where the haunting sounds sit, of waves though. punctuates your day. Just talked about things. I didn't let me sit. No benches out here that I can see. All right, we're gonna go back and find a bench. Cause besties, I want to save my game. Hello, what is this? Ma'am, sit! Sit down! I'll be RB. No problem, Kulk. We do have an exclamation point lurk command, if you so choose. The scale, sailor's aperitif. Available in all grocery stores. I hate this drink. I hate this drink. So do I. Sitting! Oh, fuck. Uh, we can't find the bench. Alright, we find a bench, so we're okay. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted! That's not what I wanted! <laughs> I'm assuming this won't make my game, like, move forward in time. You saved your good. Alright. Um, we're just gonna have audio happening in the background. Uh, while I crack open a pack of Pokemon cards. Woohoo! Um. As soon as I figure out which drawer they're in. Are you in this drawer? No. Are you in this drawer? Yes! Alright, I have two packs we can pick from. The bench, the true MVP of the game. Sometimes we just need a good sit down, you know? You know? Alright. One in the chat for Evolving Skies. A two in the chat for Fusion Strike. Go. <laughs> I'm gonna put these a little closer. So we have Genesect on this one, and then Celestial on this one. I'll give it about, like, 20 more seconds. Got a lot of twos. A lot of twos. Uh, uh. Me trying to hold these even on stream. <laughs> I am unable. Give me about 10 more seconds. One in the chat, two in the chat. Not Greg? Nah, it's not Greg, it's Genesect. <laughs> Hello, my name is Aaron Greg. <laughs> All right, so we're opening number two. Very cool, very pog. Thank you for the redeem, by the way. All right. Here, want some uh, opening ASMR? Greggy? <laughs> no. Fuck. God, I peaked. I peaked on accident. <laughs> It is a crispy great sound though. It is, yes. Alright, so that's for the trading card game. Alright, so one, two, three, four. I will do eggy after. Anyone wanna guess the energy? Guess the energy is water. Anyone wanna guess the energy? Guess the energy? I did not look. Hello, so also good night. Hi Zen! Welcome and goodbye! <laughs> I'll put eggy on my shoulder when we're done. 
Uh, fire. I'm guessing dark. Okay. Fire. I usually guess fire for the, uh, when Brian opens packs. One day I'll be right. One day I'll be right. All right. And the energy is? Fighting. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So I'm not fancy. I'm not like Brian. I don't have a GoPro. Um, so we're just going to do them like this and pray that the reflection is not bad. Yeah, 99 said, thank you for being here. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Oh, <gasps> Charger Bug! Oh, I love Charger Bug! I love him. He's so cute. He is adorable. The energy will be orange. <laughs> then we got... Ooh, we got a judge. We love judge. Oh, wait, I'll watch this first. That's fair, that's fair. That's valid. All right, keep not even close. And Susie! Yes, say hello to everybody. We have a, uh, Excadrill. An Excadrill, indeed. We have a Shanks. I love me a Shanks. Uh, wait, let me hold them like this and then do like this. Ooh, we have a Baneary. Rapid Strike Baneary, too. Interesting, interesting. We do love Shanks, we do love Shanks. Ooh, and a Rapid Strike Basculin, but he blue. Instead of red, he blue. He is blue indeed. Uh, alright, cool. And then we have a Grubbin. Oh, wait! Oh, he's a Crocheted Boy! He's Crocheted! Look how cute he is! He's so cute! And then we have a Mankey. I don't know how- if I need- actually need all these. I probably don't, but... Then we have- Ooh! A Reverse Hollow Swampert! Look at that shiny boy. Look at that shiny boy. Alright, let's see! Holly started out all my dupes yesterday and we we're planning on going to card comic stores to trade in the cards. Ooh! Very fun! Alright, let's see! Last one! Holy shit! Celebi V, full art, full card art. Oh my god. Look how pretty it is! Oh! Look how pretty! Oh my goodness! Look how pretty! Oh my goodness! Oh my god. I don't think I have a Celebi yet either. Or if I do, it's like a really crappy looking Celebi. <laughs> Look how pretty! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I don't know how rare that is, but Pog. I mean, full card arts are, are pretty, are pretty good. Oh my goodness. Brian, I'm ready for a rematch. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for the redeem. That's so shiny and beautiful. Yes, it is. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you for the redeem. I'm adding it to my pile of cards I need to put away. But we are going to take a quick five minute break. Uh, I don't need no more. Oh, I do need more water, actually. Uh, I'm going to grab more water. I'm also going to grab me a snacky poo because I am hungry. Um, and we'll be back in five minutes to struggle through puzzles because that is what I do best. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate water. Uh, yes, water. Yes, hydrate. Go get some food, some water, with Snacky Poo and Sippy Rippy. <laughs> yes, Susie, indeed. All right, so we'll be back in five minutes with some more Broken Paces, so I will see you soon. You are all good. We took, we did Pokemon unpacking. And let me show you the card we got. Because you were not here, which is okay. Wait, I did not pull that card today. We got this beauty. Got this beauty. A Selby V. Very pretty boy. Nice, yes. I could dance to anything. Well, not, not well, but I can do it. Yeah, I don't dance. <laughs> I usually have, like, their BRB screens muted because, like, I don't know, like, sometimes I vibe with the music, sometimes I don't, but personal preference. All right. So, we took a fat nap. We're not really. Um, 
Did we look at this? Yes, we did. Okay, wait. There's something down here. That we did not do yet. Welcome back, Norcray. Thank you. I think I'm going to need a look. Um, wait. I had questions. <laughs> what just happened? What was that? Do it. Wait, do it again. Do it again. What did you need? What did you need? I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Do it again. Ma'am, do it again. I missed it. Ma'am, do it again. I think I'm going to need a lever. A lever? Where the fuck is the <laughs> leggy? I need a leggy emote. I honestly do. Nines was such a tease today. Yes, Nines, I'm talking about you. Stop staring at me. Also, Connor is politely staring at all of you, so say hi to Connor. Uh, wrong lever. Uh, um, can we actually go up here? This door can be unlocked from the other side. Okay, no. Incorrect. Oh, thanks, Con. Check your journal. You found what I was pointing you to. Okay. Lighthouse inaugurations, 1835. Bet. Amazing. He's giving you the leggy since the nines won't give you one! Ah! Funny. Hello, leggy. I mean, Connor. Well, nines is the one who gives us leggy. Connor is Connor, and we love him. We still love nines. And 60, respectively. N no, ma'am. Stop. So, 1835. These camera angles, man. That time 60 was playing Quap for a month. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Man, he must really like that game. Did he get all the achievements? Was he achievement hunting? Alright, 1835. Co-op, I remember that. Yeah, I think we remember asking if he was okay. Ma'am. Right. to connect the doors so that is for that's for upstairs that's for back outside I had through that he was playing it until he beats it also Connor harboring Hank for a week watching movies with him well currently well isn't like Connor 51 watching Marcus's broadcast or something I cannot wait to, like, make my own Discord bot. Yeah, he was. Give me Life is Strange vibes over here. He still is, yeah. Good for him. Con, mate, you've watched it many times. Hey, can we go through this gate? This door requires electricity. So now, I need to fix these colored cables in the right order. Oh god. Oh god, right- What? Right- Oh god. Okay, wait. 240 volt. Curious you made Connor 51's icon with the green hoodie and him smiling. Yeah. I um, made it to 2.8. Craig Clash Bandicoot. I cannot even imagine. I love him holding a hand. Yes! Ryland eventually will. Go 
sure to fuck around. That did nothing. Oh, fuck. Nothing. Okay, cool. Okay. You're just gonna fuck around me at work all day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's me too. Sometimes. OG programmers of the bot six use Connor bot. Ah, gotcha. Um Me every day at home. No. No! Stop! Alright. Hit please. Do we literally just... It can't be this. We tried Eggy. Oh, we have not had Eggy. Thank you. Oh my god, stop taking it from me. No. Change her her first perspective. Wait, how do I change her her first perspective? This is pretty cool. Sam, I realized I was not being smart. I actually had a discussion with the devs about it. Spent so much time with this trying to figure out the first time. What is 240V, I wonder? It's the voltage. That's the volt. So. So 240V is the volt we need there. I remember reading through the old lore history when I look up above the box. No. Black, white, blue, black, white, yellow, blue. Black, white, yellow, blue. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that is the hint for the wires they actually gave you once. Got it. I love it. It just fits so many occasions. We have an eggy. Hello. I remember reading through the old lore history when I first joined and said Connor could bequeath the leggy image to Nice or Save Kimmy. I love that. I wanted the devs to show the box each time for this, though they did improve the POV range for movement. I spent like half an hour trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. I got first one by guessing, then I figured out what I was supposed to do. Got it. Alright, cool. Shove the gate open! Bench? Sitting time! Alright, we don't need to rest yet. Um, alright. Uh, I'm just taking egg off my shoulders so I can eat some of my brownie. Or else he will faceplant be the one who solve it doing every wire combo. Eggy! Eggy love! See, his anger spreads through our families. This sounds terrifying. Hmm. Wondering what's that thing they mention all the time. 
I love how the sound changes depending on your camera angle. Like, depending on where the items are, the sound changes in terms of distance. It's a really good touch. Really good detail. Cthulhu cult? Possibly. Oh, there's an altar here. There's an altar here. Oh, this is the altar! Despite the mess the protesters left behind, you're still offering comfort, aren't you? They love leaving these tape boxes for their propaganda. Take listen them! to us. Join the devoted. Take them. Maybe I should listen to it. Tape. All right, let's listen. Dear people of Saint Exil, Saint Exil, this message is for you. I know our local authorities have been breaking their backs, picturing us as fools. Do not listen to this nonsense. Our actions are dedicated to all of you. Once the day comes, those who denied will finally see the truth with their eyes. The distant shall all be remembered. You are all invited to our next ceremony. This Friday, join us in the rising of birthdays from the departed boat. Let's put the world to right. It's the only way now. Guess we got a clue from that. Yeah. Cole kind of good pointed out something. Uh, I already have a sand shoe, so I'm good. Yeah, Cole pointed out uh, that there's dates written on the boats. Um, so let's see. Right, dates of birth on the boats during their ritual. Okay. So we're looking for Franks. Celine, the 30th of December, 1966. 27 is a really young age to go. Frank, 19th of March. Frank, the 19th of March, 1967. 19th of March. Mars is March. I remember that much from French class. This is one of the places of contemplation in St. Exel. It was vandalized 27, just before everything went down. 27. Two days after Brian's birthday. Oh, interesting. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! suck at dodging. You can't stop, can you? 27 steps? <laughs> Brian looks pretty good to be born in 1967. Alright, we're gonna rest for two hours. Oh yeah. Let me catch my breath. We're just gonna pass out here? Ma'am, wait, hold on, what? You're just gonna fall asleep in the open for two hours? I have question. How is that safe? How is that safe? You're around things that might kill you. Let's go sleep next to the giant water dildo? I guess so. I guess that's what we're doing now. She's alone, she can nap anywhere. Yeah, sounds totally fucking reasonable, right? Right. What is up with the water? We don't know. We don't know. Something freaky going on over there. We should go lay down for two hours. <laughs> I like her little holster for the side. The water has giant dildos in it. Yeah, it's very big phallic symbols.
All right, not me needing a refresher on my key bindings again. Uh, push power in combat is F. Okay. Okay, and then Frank's birthday is 19 of March. Nineteenth of March, so one nine zero three. Because they probably do day then month. Yep, correct. Right. Ready explanation of the game. Hmm. So no, you're good. The fact that there's a combat in this game feels a little out of place so far. Yeah, it does. It really does. Okay, so the valve. We're gonna go connect back in here. Hey, Valve, where's Portal 3? <laughs> where's TF3? Not TF2, we want TF2 and a half. Should work better with that on. Okay, so we need to fix these. Using the pressure gauge here. Fun fact, the combination loss is more than one solution depending on how you write dates. Oh, interesting. Glad that they did that, though. You would think that that's because it's French they would do, like, the French, traditional French. Okay, so we need 25. Wait, does it tell us in the other thing? Give me Half-Life 3, thanks for Citadel. Just give me something. I did 0319 and it worked. Oh, cool that they had that. Bad pressure, okay. Citadel should be soon, maybe. I do have Half-Life Alex because I have Valve Index. Okay, so do we need to match it? So 25.75 and then 20 and then 055. Is that what we need to do? Or do we need to 75 and 75? Hold on, wait, I need a first person perspective of this. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, maybe soon, anytime now, the next year or so, unless they cancel this as well. Okay, so 25, 75 equals one. Five, five equals one. 25, 25 is five. They need to match. No, they don't. Wait. Hold on. The ambient noises are freaking me out a little bit. It's fine. Alex was so horrifying to me and I'm kind of a big baby. They really ease you into it. No hat guys jumping at you until you're well into the game. Oh, it still scared me. It still very much gave me. I don't know if you don't. I understand if you don't want to play through it. I tried. Um, I played on Alex's system. Or not Alex. Who? Ryan's system. Um, when I was staying with him for a little while. Uh, God, I would already have rage quit and then Googled. <laughs> um, I mean, I grew up playing Professor Layton games, so I try to solve with logic. Um, keyword being try. Doesn't necessarily mean I will. Uh, but I try. Um, let's see here. So, you know Alex? Impressive. Did that once. Not good. Well, I do have Connor's voice message on standby if I decide to, uh... Half-Life Ryan, Ryan Gray played it on Alex's system. <laughs> I always try, but for some reason, game puzzles break my head. Yeah, people were like, wait, what happens if I wrote dates differently? And they are like, actually, we thought about that and made the variation various ways all correct solutions. Oh, that's, that's smart of them. All right, hint. I require a hint, please. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. 
I think. I think I get it. Because, like, okay, so 75 and 25 equals 100, 1. 5 plus 5 equals 10, 1. So. Hold on. What, what is your pressure here? 50. Wait, which one are you? Because I need to equal to one. Or, like, equal to one somehow. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Am I the one who's confused? That's not what I meant to do, but okay, cool. That's fine. It's completely stuck. It's completely stuck. Oh, that one is stuck. Oh, great. Okay. Let's go 75. Okay. D is now this one unstuck? It's completely stuck. No. Okay. First try. What? How? How my big brain? What? We would be getting shit confused. Uh oh. Let there be light! You got this is the same place I started figuring out how the puzzles worked. Brian Deckart, tapes, tapes, Brian Deckart. Please. The documents on this desk look much more confidential than the previous ones. This place appears to be a government. This looks from the trailer. This looks like from the trailer. Water sound activity off the village. And this has been going on for a while. But I don't see what they're trying to find. They appear to be studying something at the bottom of the sea that is moving at precise coordinates. On April 17th, 1991, they recorded a signal which they define as organic. The signal was recorded on a cassette to be sent urgently to the DGSE I see all because the chat. this would jeopardize the military security of the country. But one of the lighthouse maintenance staff apparently stole the tape. They quickly managed to identify him and where he lives. Wait. Th this this is my house. Pierre Oh shit! It's Pierre. It's Pierre. It's our. It's our. It's our partner. Sure, why not? Let's let's do this. Error. Recuperation of the signal ra radio signal necessary. All right, so it looks like we're going back to our house now. All of us got excited for Brian. 
We all did, honestly. That was where the demo ended, I believe. Ah. Okay. Sag. All right, well, here we go. Give Brian. We want Brian Deckart. <laughs> so this really is the quest for Brian Deckart. So all new for me from here on out. Please don't tell me we got, we got what? We got baited. See, I knew it. It would be a quest. A few more hours into this. Yeah, we're probably gonna play probably another hour or so. Which would mean the game broken Brian fans. Ah, <laughs> oh, title screen. We hadn't gotten title screen yet. We need to work for it. They really did. They knew. Oh god, did that move closer? Did that move closer to us? I don't like that cold open. Title drop boys, gals, and non-binary pals. Well, we're going back to our house now. I know what we're doing. Get to the garage. Nothing else matters. Get back to the garage. to the chopper. Pretty please. <laughs> Jesse wants the Pokemon. Get to the Brymobile. on the Roboto. The Roboto. <laughs> Is there gonna be traffic on the way home? Don't forget your dodge. I, I will forget my dodge. Have you, for, have you forgotten who I am? Now that the town's current is better, I can access the house's attic again. Attic. A spy my house. My favorite game optional. Okay, so we'll visit the attic. We'll visit the attic because that's optional. So we'll do that first. Self also never heard of her. So we'll go into the attic first. Wait, do we have tapes that we can listen to? No. Okay. The deviant is in the attic. <laughs> of course, that's where he is. Also, F in the chat for for Yolfner's Ultra Ball. It's here, Lieutenant. Got one scrap. It, it. It looks like some of Pierre's homemade music for me. I thought it was lost since the moving in. I love that music. It's his paru. We're not listening to it right now because. Nothing. Nothing. Actually, you know what? Let's listen to it. Why not? Tape, tape, tape. Nothing. My lava lamp. I love it. Pierre probably hid it here, out of reach. Lava lamps! He'd think it's just a passing trend. Poor guy never understood anything about home decor. Love lava lamps. 
this suit he's always wanted a lava lamp was in the attic with him when everybody disappeared I remember wearing it but we just had one mm. used eraser oh my god do y'all remember these erasers cuz I do better not to make too many mistakes Missed my lava lamp, it broke and I never replaced it. Oh no! Oh, it's in French! Hell yeah, the song's in French! Honey, I finally finished my restoration oh, project for the arcade machine. Cute! And I've got a challenge for you. I know you love a good one, so try to beat my best score. You will win something I'm sure will bring back good memories. All right, are we gonna play it? Can't do that now. I have no idea. Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. I see what you're supposed to do now. Restart it. Choo choo! I love I love train games. Uh, legend was that the blue part erased pen ink. I always wanted one too, but my parents thought I would drink the liquid if it broke. Oh, <laughs> goodness. I love train games. Oh, fuck! Wait! No! Start with green! I like- tr I like trains. gamer right here. Oh, thanks. Thanks, friend. Oh, fuck. I missed. Me just trying to beat my fucking high score so I can get things, so I can do things. Fuck! Damn it. Oh, fuck. Y'all, we ain't doing well. <laughs> oh, those trains are gonna crash.
I want whatever the achievement is. I'm sure this is an achievement. In gray, we trust. Thanks. Thanks, Adrian. As long as y'all are having fun vibing, then we'll keep going. I made a poor mistake by drinking water. It's a cute little tra train game. There is a train conductor on stream, but no train conductors in chat. <laughs> Funny. Meanwhile, the world is just dying, it's fine. Since we haven't broken the game too much yet, be okay in just getting the high score. Because as long as we get the high score, right? Because as long as we keep that meter decent, we should be okay. That's fine. Yes, take that. We got the pe we got it though. I heard a sound behind the arcade. Well, we got it. Yay, we did it. Damn. You always know how to surprise me. Grab laser toy. A laser I can attach to my gun. Yay! <laughs> shadow monsters terrorizing the town. Yeah, shadow monsters are terrorizing the town. Yeah, here we are doing these types of shenanigans. It's fine. 
No achievement for that? I'm sad. Add jam. All right, now let's go improve your gun in the shanty. Yeah, we'll go do that. And then we'll go figure out who the stalker is in the basement. That pog emote, yes. It is of the judge from Great Ace Attorney. Or not Great Ace Attorney, but Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I could attach this laser to my gun. See if that makes me more precise. No, it won't. <laughs> won't make me more precise. All right, y'all, it's garage time. Gray Ace Attorney. Oh, we could drop down. Cool. never set foot in here. There's got to be something. Oh god, I found the hidden room the first try. I found the hidden room the first try. What the hell? Why is my brain cheating? Looks like that was shot in VR. Yeah, but we want to look around first, though. That was just lucky. Wow, a projector. I thought I would forget its existence with my school years. What is it doing down here? Something to project onto the wall, probably. Overhead projector in the basement can project transparent. Transparent so slides. Yeah, I can English. Nothing. That's a very ingenious way to check, to like do like a check item mechanic. What? What is that? I can't believe all this was under the house. What was he doing here? Is that a ladder? No. Okay, wait, let's, let's see. Wait, isn't it exactly the same gem I have attached on my bracelet? Where did I uh, find it? Oh! He was apparently willing to ship it to be analyzed. Uh oh, Brian, what'd you do? <laughs> so I think Brian plays Pierre, which is her partner. That. Oh, is that a light switch? Let's shed some light on this. That's it for me. If you're listening to this, you are probably the person sent by the offer <sighs> to continue my investigation. Well, at least I hope. My name is Matthew Banks. Oh, it's Matthew. I okay. Started this work about a year ago. Under our basement. I stated in my previous reports, I in our basement. the lighthouse last month, but they just found out that a tape was missing, and I think they're on to me now. I used to copy, uh, borrow tapes during the night, but this time they noticed before I could bring them back. I didn't have time to use the new filtering machine, but I left the tape inside it. I hope it's safe there with you. 
since I have to leave, I prepared the way for you and I have regrouped all of my ongoing work onto three different boards, each including a guiding tape. The first one gathers my studies on the audio signal coming from the oceanic floor, which was the reason our interest was piqued by St. Exel in the first place. The second board will give you more details on the local cult, whose believers call themselves the Devoted. The third board is about Operation White Medusa, which is probably why you're here now. We are now definitely forced to recognize that the village of St. Exel is the center of great political and scientific interest, as we first suspected. I hate to leave like this, but I'm afraid my time has come. During the last two weeks, the lighthouse had trouble acquiring new information from the shore. A apparently some kind of technology has been jamming their signal. Is there some kind of expert trying to hack the operation? Why is there money on the table? I'll leave it to you to find out. Oh, yes. I was Aaron Tony screaming about the garage this whole time. I didn't want to spoil. That's fair. That's fair. Brian, sweetie. <laughs> Yay! Yay, Brian! I know you're probably not gonna see this, but we're so proud of you! <laughs> Go, Brian, you're doing amazing, sweetie! Go, little claps, little claps for Brian. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Pierre... So I guess Pierre was working with Matthew? Matthew is Brian, who is the spy. So Pierre and Matthew are different. But I guess they are working together? The second the go-to garage came up, it's like, it has to be. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, I was also thinking that as well. Um, so, so Matthew and Pierre have to be working together, even though, like, Pierre is MIA. Okay. Interesting. Can't do that now. Passports? Money from different countries? This man was not your usual anybody. Oh. And there's also boat tickets to leave for Plymouth, England. He was planning on leaving. Just wasn't sure when. I oh, solved a thousand tedious puzzles to hear Brian for ten seconds. <laughs> yeah. Shaking hands. Okay. Sport basement. Collect the spy's documents. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Of course, he's not voiced by Brian Decker. Well, he probably can now. Haha. -ha clips <laughs> if you want to tag him in on twitter go for it ah fuck this is probably the same thing we just listened to but let's listen to it again captain's log sponge boy me bob i found me money he's also the spy dude that's been living under me apartment sounds a lot like an android i used to know we'll update more, more later on as i figure this out <laughs> Yo, Fedora, I appreciate you so much. So Matthews, Matthew is his character, yes. I keep wanting to call him Matthews because that's a character in Red vs. Blue. It doesn't sound like him, but it's because it's Matthews. More Bri is always good. Yeah, let's listen to it again. Because it's going to keep telling me to. If you're listening to this... Yeah, it's the same tape. You are probably the person sent by the office to continue my investigation. Sent by the office. Yeah, we're not sent by the office. Yes, I hope. <laughs> my name is Matthew Banks, and I started this work about a year ago as stated in my previous reports i infiltrated the lighthouse last month not me randomly listening to his taste the rest of the time i've been playing this <laughs> comfort human when borrow tapes during the i used to copy uh, borrow tapes yeah okay sweetie okay i didn't have time to use the new filtering machine but I filtering machine like a voice filtering machine with you. Call log filtering Since I machine? I have to leave, I prepared the way for you, and I have regrouped all of my ongoing work onto three different boards, each including a guiding tape. Well, if someone... That's going to be very convenient for whoever shows up here who is not on your side. It's going to be very convenient for them. Which was the reason Just our saying. interest was piqued by St. Exel in the first place. The second board will give you more details on the local cult, whose believers call themselves the Devoted. The third board is about Operation White Medusa. Which is also, I also love how they why you're here now. changed the audio for when you're actually listening to a tape versus actual speaking. It's a good touch, to good detail. 
that the village of St. Exel is the center of great political and scientific interest. Yeah, but there's nobody here. There's As nobody you, here. Everyone's gone. Everyone's gone to the rapture. Hopefully my time has come. During the last two weeks, the lighthouse had trouble acquiring new information from ashore. A apparently some kind of technology has been jamming their signal. Ooh. Is there some kind of expert trying to hack the operation? Aiden Pierce. <laughs> I'll leave it to you to find I out. see what you did there. What'd I do? I, what did I do? Jimbo from St. Dennis and Matthew from St. XL. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I have not played Red Dead yet. That's going to be after Cyberpunk. All right, let's... What is this folder? Your next objective? Question mark. The night. A bit of reading always helps. Nighttime story. <laughs> Say no more to archive of our own story time before bed. Now it is spy papers to read before bed. <laughs> I happened to see that film a couple months back. You know what always helps Matthew tr explaining everything through tapes. Move over AO3. It's Brian Deckard's story time. <laughs> Anything else on this desk? No? Okay. Getting called out about AO3 everywhere. Listen, Susie started it. Why is this camera angle so funky? Okay, I'm a bit farther out now, so I should be able to... Tape! Give me the fucking tape! How can I... Sir! <laughs> Ma'am. I, I see the tape. I see the tape. I see the tape. Just give me the fucking tape. I think you can just click. It's not letting me click. It's not letting me click on anything. If you can't hear my mouse button, I'm furiously clicking. Is this not the first board we go to? Yeah, I, yeah, you should hear the mouse. Okay. Go to sleep. Okay, we gotta go to sleep first. Gotta go to bed. Gotta go night-night. It's bed by time. We gotta read them spy documents first. At... What time is it? You be you. At 7.53 a.m. p.m. something. 17.53. <laughs> I don't read. I do not read military clock. Gotta be fully awake for more Matthew's position. <laughs> 55, 53 p.m. You have time. Well, time to do what? It, it telling me to go to bed. There's nothing more in my objectives. It's time to go to bed, apparently. I still understand why we have a crab watch. Because <laughs> Brian Deckard was like... Because probably Brian Deckard was like, you know what? The only way I'm going to do this game is if you give me a crab watch. If you give the main character a crab watch. It's, it's lore. My fan base will understand. Going to bed with the gun. Mil military? You mean normal time for most of the world? Yes. Yes. Yes, Yolfador. Don't call me out like this. Did she sleep with the file? His voice still echoes in my head. I need to know more. Let's Day 18 since the attack. Beach. Find antenna at the beach. Collect the audio journal in the recorder. In the record- in the recorder? I have one of those. Yes, yeah, so OMG, it's the payment. Like, salary? No. Crab watching game? Yes. <laughs> yes. This tape recorder is helpful during late nights. 
don't judge me, Pierre. It's my only way to hear a human voice now. Did I just pick up a tape? No, I did not listen. I did not pick up a new tape. Oh no! We did pick up tapes. Okay, cool. Let's listen. I finished reading the documents Matthew Banks had left for his replacement. Who never came? Matthew apparently needed to join the lighthouse maintenance team to gain access to the Rorqual cell. To achieve this, he was forced to make a deal. The sect could help him get hired quickly, but in exchange, Matthew would have to pass on the information obtained once there. He didn't know why the cult was interested in all this, but he needed them, so he agreed in order to continue his investigation. Matthew knew that the Rorqual cell used a specific radio frequency to communicate with the outside. Just before his departure, he discovered that the cell could no longer connect to this very frequency. The radio worked well, but the signal of this wave was scrambled, which prevented transmission. It looked like sabotage, but who was behind it all? A member of the lighthouse team? Another spy? Only one thing was clear to him. Oh, Lord, if, if I... someone had wanted to disturb the signal, he would have gone through the big antenna of St. Exel. I have already spotted it in the past. It is on the keys towards the beach. I just have to go there. Okay. Communication bloqué. Block. Uh, ma maison est, est protégée. I think that's what it means. Uh, it means my house. Or my protected house, yeah. It's translation. I'm sure it's this giant blue rock under the house that must be responsible for our bubble that protects and keeps monsters away from our home. The crate of rocks came with a bunch of analysis papers that probably had to be shipped with the set. I don't understand all this paperwork, but these rocks seem to have totally unexpected properties. I don't know if there is any connection between the monsters and this rock, and why it would have an effect on them and not me. Because, ma'am, I don't know if you know this, but you're not a monster. Megar sounds about right. Why didn't Mr. Zuck name his company after that instead? Funny. No, but Yoshida, uh, Yoshida, she records herself speaking because she has no reason to speak aloud unless if she records herself speaking and then listening it back. Because she has nothing else to listen to. All right, find antenna at the beach. That's sad. Yeah, it's sad. It, it is sad. She's the only one. She's trying to remain sane. In hopes of maybe seeing Pierre again, I think. Or figuring out what happened to Pierre. Because I, Pierre's her partner? I don't know their relation, per se. Oh, so we literally only have- we can only go this way. She'll do everything in the garage. I did all that at once when I played. I would try again. Okay. Do we want to do we- do we want to spoil ourselves and listen to Brian Deckard talk for the rest of the stream? <laughs> Or do we want to split it up a little bit? I mean, like, I don't mind doing them in order and waiting until, like, we have to do each one. To break it up a little bit so we don't spoil ourselves. So we don't spoil ourselves so we have something to look forward to. Do you see my logic here? <laughs> Unless if the game doesn't make us come back to it later. So if that's the case, then we can do them all now. But if the game, like, oh, you're gonna want to go back to the garage and look at the thingy things, I'm like, okay, sure. Wait, did I miss Brian? <gasps> Water. Thank you. Gotta save the. Gotta savor the bry. I walked away to use the bathroom. <laughs> Mary, oh no. <laughs> Wait. 
I honestly don't know because I did it all. Hmm, that's fair. Um, it's OMG the first tape. Pepe! <laughs> we can listen to the same tape a third time. <laughs> well, actually, wait. Let, let's see. Don't worry, we got you. Ah, what is the bloop? <laughs> That's funny. What is the bloop? Okay, so it's moving. An ultra low frequency sound detected in the ocean in 1977, detected many years over the following 10 years. Something is moving through the ocean. Theories put forth by scientists, espionage, submarine, aeronautical activities, explosive tests, animals. Just not playing the game, but Brian repeat for three hours. I would. Okay, so I guess this is from the spy documents that she walked, looked at last night. Okay, War Call Project. A government research unit created to study and protect the seabed. My friend does something like that. She went to grad school, actually, near where I currently live now, um, to, like, do oceanography, because she's, like, she did research on, like, sediments and seabeds and whatnot, which I thought was really cool. All information from this unit is extremely confidential. The lighthouse recording station is picking up transmissions from the submarine. Okay. So lighthouse sound source and it bounces. Okay. Makes sense. Go lighthouse lab. The last signal was recorded off the French coast near St. Exel. The French government set up a scientific cell in the lighthouse. In the lighthouse stands a system for listening to and monitoring seismic activity. They're tracking something at the bottom of the ocean. A spot. The spy was recruited as a maintenance agent. They use strange machines to study seismic activity. That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, cause it was like, the, I, cause like it reads like the intensity of things. You carry all the tapes around. I was listening to his on repeat as I did other things. Oh my God. I love that. And a true way to play. OMG. Heck yeah. All right, well, go listen to one of them. What did you make? Oh, did you did you clip it? Oh, we just did a twirl. Look at us. Oh God, is it not gonna let me? Ma'am! Oh god, nope. Game plus. Game said no. We're not allowed. Ooh, loot. Ammo HQ. Bet. Well, we got loot. Ma'am, surplus. Well, game said no. Game really said no. But for you, Mary, we'll listen to the tape again. We'll listen to you, for you, Mary. If you're listening to this, you are probably the person sent by the office to continue my investigation. Well, at least I hope. My name is Matthew Banks, and I started this work about a year ago. As stated in my previous reports, I infiltrated the lighthouse last month, but they just found out that a tape was missing, and I think they're on to me now. And I used to copy... Uh, borrow tapes during the night but so we probably because i was playing our controller maybe i could bring them back <laughs> we got them off oopsies back i didn't have time to use the new filtering machine oh god no stop we were listening to brian how dare you Oh god, game mechanics don't work like this. Wow, the fighting mechanic just makes no sense. I left the tape in sight. I hope it's safe there with you. Since I have to leave, I prepared the way for you, and I have regrouped all of my ongoing work onto three different boards, each including a guiding. How dare they? Rude monsters. Yeah. The first one gathers my studies. Brian Decker is just Connor in every game so far, but I love it. Floor, yes. Which <laughs> was the reason our interest was piqued by Saint Exel in the first place. Brian. The second board 
We'll give you more details on the local- Left. The White Manor and the Lighthouse. It pauses the tape. Right. St. Exel. Cult, whose believers call themselves the Devote. At the beach. The third board is about Operation White Medusa, which is probably why you're here now. I'm trying to figure out where the beach is. We are now definitely forced to recognize that the village of St. Exel is the center of great political and scientific interest. As that's we the beach. Suspected. I know that's where our house is. I hate to leave like this, but I'm afraid my time has come. During the last two weeks, the lighthouse had trouble acquiring new information from ashore. A apparently, some kind of technology has been jamming their signal. Is there some kind of expert trying to hack the operation? I'll leave it to you to find out. Hold on, wait. Where's the beach? Really does sound like Connor, like more so than his normal voice and other characters of his. Why am I getting this camera angle? What? That was a weird camera angle. And it was like a 10 years later, Detroit become DBH, new Civil War Connor. It does, yeah. So Brian just channels Connor into everything. He probably does. When he streams, he sounds more chaotic. Like, he doesn't sound like Connor when they're streaming. All right, I'm gonna get a headache over trying to figure out. Brian is just going to become Connor IRL at this point. <laughs> Where the fuck is the beach? No one knows. Ooh! Oh, I didn't want a storm. I wanted to collect the mushroom. This door can be unlocked from the other side. Honestly, oh, the voice message does sound different. There you hear like the clear differences generally, yes. Am I going the right way to the beach? I don't feel like this is the right way to the beach. Ooh, my head hurts. My head achy. I'm spending a long time in their streams and just Connor that. No, this is. Are you saying no, this is not the right way to the beach? Because I had a feeling I was going in the wrong direction. Um. Long time there's streams, just Connor that looks like Brian. <laughs> oh, it's fair. Um, correct, not the right way. Okay. I assume the beach is back by the house. I did the same thing when I played through. That's fair. Okay. Ash, thank you for watering your streamer. As I run around because I got lost and confused. And a stretch redeem. Thank you. Everyone stretch. <coughs> How are you, Ash? Welcome. We are listening to uh Brian Decker have a cool character. Woohoo! Oh, that felt good. Uh, well, I'm a tired little Matarino sauce so at sale. Bye, Adrian. Thank you for being here. Why do I have brownie on my arm? I don't I don't appreciate that. So, Manuela, you've played. How long is the game? I have popcorn. Ooh, you have popcorn. Very nice. Have a nice night, Adrian. Doing all right. Just got home from a nano planning with the fellow nano organizers. Ooh, very fun. First National Novel Writing Month. Look at chat being cute. Everyone's saying goodnight to Adrian. That's so cute. Y'all are so wholesome. Y'all are so cute. Game Y. This door has no handle. No you! No you! About six hours and haven't finished it yet. Okay. I wrote, like, 
I realize I told him 15 hours. Okay. So, like, probably four streams, because I get lost and confused very easily. La Vieja Chalou. Restaurant and brewery. Fresh fish straight from the port. I sure hope the products are fresher than this poster. Oh! Y'all, it's okay. I'm just a tad dumb. It's fine. Everything's fine. No, just kidding. It's not fine. Uh, mm. Okie dokie. I'm lost and confused. Um, wait, ladder? Ladder? The access is condemned at the top. Well, ma'am, you're strong. You're a strong, independent whammon. You can kick it down. It's fine. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait a second. I loved that statue. Well, Ask the Scarecrow for directions. I, I will fucking do that. Don't tempt me. They really wanted to prevent us from following them. They've put it beyond repair during their escape. I hear the Scarecrow only knows is east and west. Okay, so like I can go get that other breaker, right? I can still smell the perfume of stamps and papers. But there's no street signs here too. Okay. Tonight. Why did they have to attack during the fair? Just one more. In village. Yeah, where are you? It won't open from this side. Ahead, Boisseau's Park in the beach. Okay, so we have to go through Left. that gate. St. Exel's Church. Really wanted to prevent us from following them. Okay, so we need to go back and get the breaker box. I'm assuming it's just one breaker box, right? That we use? Right? Or is there another one I can pillage somewhere? The soldiers were perfectly organized and cut off all access. We had almost Correct. zero chance okay. of escaping this mass kidnapping. Like sheep in the dark. Uh, great, we had to walk back. Alright, let's check the- Wait, do you need to buy normal Pokeballs? Uh, yeah, so you need to buy normal Pokeballs. There's an extension down below if you are on desktop. If you are on mobile, I'm sorry. Uh, cause mobile Twitch sucks. Um, because it does not allow you to do the cool things like buy things in the Pokeball store. Um, there is a command for it. I don't remember. You get money by chatting in chats that have the extension. So by talking in my chat, you will get the money for the extension or for buying Pokeballs and whatnot. And... Uh, yeah, type poker shop. Alright, we're back over here. Yay! Cute homies all together. Chat! Cute homies awesome together! Oh, yes! Yes, indeed! And 63 bucks. I'm not yawning because I'm tired. I'm yawning because my ears and my head ache. But we'll be ending soon. So I will push through. Then I will go Betty Bye. I appreciate y'all being here tonight. It's so cool that I get to play this game and Brian's in it. I can't wait to see his little, like, NPC part in, um, Red Dead when I eventually get to it. Eventually. Thank 
Any suggestions on who we are raiding? Oh, we're not taking suggestions right now. Not taking suggestions yet. Because we still got at least another 15 minutes. And who is live might change within those next 15 minutes. If you happen to know how much is, uh... Know how much you have in Pokebucks, you could probably just type Pokeshop ball number and purchase them that way. Yeah, I think that's how it works. I don't know. I usually just use the extension. But... I scrolled out of a couple. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I can still picture the fishermen landing their daily catch of crabs and fish. When they do those, like, little cuts, when the, uh, player is, uh, giving us exposition about, like, things she sees, it reminds me a lot of Life is Strange. This game reminds me of a lot of different games I've mashed together. Poichus, successful. Look at you, Mary. Testing things out. Hi. Please move. That's not what I wanted! I want it- uh, Key bindings might be hated. The chest is a good place to store items. Okay, so we could probably use either entrance, but I'm gonna use the one over here. Oh wait, what time is it? Oh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We got time. So two twenty. Ah, oh, that's not open. Okay, let's follow this wire. Oh god. No. Incorrect behavior. Oh no! We open the door, at least let the storming commence. Okay, but how am I supposed to tell? Where that wire leads. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hint. So how am I supposed to tell where this fucking wire leads? How? Yeah, I'm assuming I can't shoot the box open either. Can I open this? <laughs> Is it in there? Scarecrow, let me talk to you, buddy. What's up? I love the atmosphere of the streets of the village with this staging. Too bad this is now linked to where my nightmare started. Oh, yikes. Wind can also open those boxes. Oh, so starting a storm? Is that what you mean? By starting a storm? Oh, 
fuck, I missed it. Yellow, blue, black, white, I think. Dang. Let me guess the storm. So I guess... There we go. She says something when I looked up around about when opening the box and never I figured it out. Oh. Usually when she says something, she only says this once, which is a pain. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How long did that take us? Yeah. Yeah. Almost three o'clock. Long time no see, Brussels Park. Got some scraps. Ahead, the beach and Assumptions Church. Right, viewpoint. Okay, I don't know why people are complaining. She literally I tells you. I'm in charge of fixing this gate. I've found a way to supply current to this unpredictable electrical panel. I've linked it to one of the small wind generators we have in the village. As long as there is wind, there will be current. Only issue is that while I was fixing it, one of those freaking birds stole the key from my van. If you find them, please bring them to my office. Mr. Levins. Ah, uh, so we might need a security box. Or a circuit box. Bench? Bench. Took me a while to realize because I'm usually the type to just breeze past dialogue and stuff, but once I started listening, it got easier. Oh, yeah. I don't do listening well. The people of St. Exel suffered so much in recent years. It's moving to see that they tried their best to maintain the festivals and other traditions. Okay, so it seems like... I'll just go this way for now. Park mausoleums were not spared by the cult either. They are a real scourge for this village. Mushroom. Only one destination for you. My bag. Yes, take the mushroom. Okay, that goes down to that entrance. There's a thieving crow's nest right up there. Ah! Expected, it has something in its feet. The key! It will only leave its nest if it appears safe to do so. Only- it will only leave its nest when it appears safe to do so. Solve this puzzle and win a coin to use in George's workshop. Oh god, what is this? Which 
George sounds cute. Let's meet in my very own George workshop to collect your prize. Well, if you can solve this. I love puzzles like this, though. Really tests your knowledge. Okay, can't move it. Keep the key bindings confused. I hope to see you again. Solve this puzzle and win a coin to use in George's workshop. We have to get the U, we have to get the metal U up in that box. We have to get turned around somehow. The prizes obtained do not engage the responsibility of George Workshop in the event of bodily injuries or even. Yeah, a crabby! Nice! Me about to spend like the rest of stream doing. Oh, fuck. Dang. What if you turned it around using the middle turn and then back to, back to the end of the puzzle or to the start of the puzzle? Ooh, okay. You have a good idea. I think. Mayhaps. What if he smashed it with a hammer? I mean, that's also valid. to it okay so that crow needs to deem it safe amongst birds living in the park you will find the corvus picatrix i know you you little flying thief they keep their precious loot in their beak, which makes it really hard to get back to prevent such situations scarecrows were installed by local farmers okay so we need 
Weirdly attracted to mushrooms. Easily started fear of scarecrows. Could we summon a storm? Perhaps? There's a thieving crow's nest right up there, as expected, but it will only leave its nest if it appears safe to do so. Oh. Okay, so maybe we have to demolish the scarecrows? Oh god! Oh no! Could not finish fixing this fence because the damn bird stole my van. Offer key. crow malevolent, my tools are. malevolent AI trash inside a potato. <laughs> but it's nested high up. Oh yeah, we did pick up a mushroom. If you manage to get my keys back, please call me at the number written on my truck, Mr. Levin. I'm going to need something to break those. Can I use the axe, or do I not have the axe anymore? How do I get to my inventory? E. Buddy, there's- why are there two mushrooms here? Birdie, it's between you and me now. Where can I put the mushroom? Like right here? Here you go, bud. Why are we not from Glarus to Crow again? Come on! Go take the mushroom. Go take it. Go take the fucking mushroom! Or is there like a scarecrow in the area that I need to get rid of first? Because it does not like scarecrows. That will teach you to look at me sideways. Oh, there's another one over here. Take that. more? Let's take a walk. Just you and me. Let's not take the mushroom in case that one wants to come down for that. Scarecrow here. Okay. No crow is this shy. No crow is a shy IRL. Oh, I went for the mushroom. Approach with a walk. I have the key? Bitch, where the fuck's the key? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. There. We told you stealing was bad.
How do I get the key? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see what I need to do. I see what I need to do. I'm meant to scare it on the ground. I think I fucked up, y'all. <laughs> I think I made a boo boo. Can you run faster? I think I made a boo boo. Yeah, that key's permanently stuck up there. Um. <laughs> Fifteen o two. What time is in the game now? That's buggy. That's unforgiving. Oh, that's so unforgiving. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to do all that when we come back next week because i i can't shouldn't let you soft lock yourself so easily yeah because i i can't i'm afraid to manually save the game because it's gonna save right where it is so we're just gonna I'm just gonna quit <laughs> oh i picked the wrong button sorry yeah, so that's not good. You know how do you avoid this? <laughs> Game tester. <laughs> I think Moogie Blue was one of the testers for the game, I think. Or, like, got asked to do some testing for the game. Um, but sure, there must have been more than just Moogie Blue. Um, all right, but that's it for tonight, y'all. Uh, really, probably figure since they're French, yeah, 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 she's French. Um, but yeah, thanks for the stream, guys. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, we are gonna go raid. Yeah, I've run into a couple. I need to go back to a previous save moments. Oh, that sucks. That's it. God, 4 a.m. Yes, time for sleep. <laughs> Thanks for the company, of course. Thank you all for being here. Actually, thank you for the follow and for the subscription. I appreciate you a lot. Um, You have 20 seconds to give me raid requests. If not, I'm going to pick someone from my follow channel list because I have a couple in mind. There is someone playing Detroit, but we also do have some other friends that we can go visit as well. Um, so if you have a specific person you would like us to go raid, let me know. Um, providing that they are a safe and friendly community to all. Oh, thank you for the cheers! Appreciate you! You'll be going into my book of Twitch things when I have time to update it from this last week. I update based on, uh, what people do on when I stream and stuff and, like, follow and shit. Um... So next time we'll be playing this game will be on Monday starting at 7 o'clock Eastern time. I will post about it. Um, I do have a Discord server. Woohoo. Very cool. Um, oh, that's cute. Yeah, uh, it's a nice little way to track everything. Um, so I, I uh, when I got raided by the Duck Arts, that's how I uh, posted um, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, so next stream will be Thursday. This Thursday we'll be playing, um, some more Vampire. John Cadia of Secret of Monkey Island. Let's see. Gonna mute that real quick or whatever you want. Let's see, just checking them out. Yeah, I currently am stuck in an ad at the moment. 
Um, I just want to make sure like their their stream looks cool. But I could send you a DM about around the modding stuff. But we need to chat about time and see if I can. Oops. But I'm not actively seeking a mod at the moment. Um. We're gonna raid someone who is playing Detroit Become Human because I feel like that's appropriate with our team that is here right now. Knowing all of you. Um, even though I'm gonna be enforcing some bad habits and y'all not going to bed. Which is fine. Um, I've not decided like there's like there's no mod application. Oh, I thought you said something about the start. Never mind. I did say like I am actively like not actively, but I am keeping my eyes open to people participating and stuff. So if you would like to maybe become a mod in the future for my channel. Just be mindful of how you behave and how you interact and what you do. You don't have to gift money in order to be a, a mod. <laughs> That's like, no, no, no. Like just being active and participating uh, will show me that you care and want to be here. Bronze cheese? <laughs> Yes, there are many different types of cheeses um, for the different tiers that you cheer for. So if Adrian was here, Adrian, I forget what Adrian has at the moment. Adrian made them, by the way. Adrian made my cheeses. Uh, but there's different. So if I want to be a mod, I should stop conspiring to eat soup. Yes, Ash. Very much so. You should stop conspiring to eat, eat soap if you would like to be a moderator. Um... But if you ever have more questions, you can always ask me. Oh, wait, please don't tell me he's ending his stream. Because that'll make me very sad if he's actually ending his stream. Please don't end. Oh. I don't know. Is he ending stream? I can't tell. Don't eat soap or lava lamp juice. Yeah, don't eat either one. Okay, I think he might be ending his stream, so we're gonna go right over to another friend instead, who is a friend of the channel, um, who I might be doing a Cara clarinet piano duet with them, eventually. Um, so we're gonna raid over to Glow, who is playing, uh, Spiritfarer. Um, but yes, I, I do keep, I do, like, I might not seem like I lurk, I might seem like I lurk a lot in the Discord server, but I am paying attention, so I do keep in mind, like, when I am looking for mods, who interacts, who's friendly, who's inviting, um, all the, all that good shit, both on Twitch and in the Discord server. Um, but with that said, um, Thursday we'll be back with more Vampire, we're gonna be facing another boss battle, so pray for me. Not, maybe not pray if you don't believe in praying, but send me hype. Send me good vibes. We might have to bring out the Connor voice message for that one, depending on how ragey I get. Thir Friday, depending on Grant's schedule, either be story time slash great ace attorney or a random game night. We'll keep you updated. Sunday, we'll be back with more cyberpunk. And if you have specific side quests that you would like me to do on stream, please let me know in the Discord server in hashtag gaming, or else I'm going to do them off stream because I want to maybe beat Cyberpunk on Sunday. Maybe. Um, and then we'll be back on Monday, 7, East, 7 p.m. Eastern, with some more broken pieces. And then maybe we get to hear some more of Brian's wonderful voice acting. So let's hop on this party train and go raid Glow. Shall we? Shall we? We're going to very much go so. So there is the linky to the a thing for the raid message here is a link to the discord if you're not already in it that's my most up-to-date stream schedule will be there because i'm gonna be changing it around a little bit uh <laughs> sorrel's already on it um all right and with that being said let's go show glow some love go follow great on their socials yes go follow me on twitter i will do i will be pulling a winner for uh my 200 followers on twitter i will be doing that i did not forget but Thank you all so much for being here tonight. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I will see you all either in the Discord server or on Thursday for some more Vampire. Have a wonderful night, everyone. My name is Aaron Gray, Queer Variety Twitch streamer, signing off. And I forgot to hit the button at the same time. Hee <laughs> hee.